being a refugee, it's not an easy thing. I was born in Rwanda. When I was five years, genocide took place and my family were brutally killed. The truth is, I don't know how I survived, but finally I crossed to Uganda. When I reached 16 years, I was like, I want to be a computer with that. When I finished my degree in information technology, I wanted to serve my people who are refugees. Even to this date, refugees are pouring into the country. They've lost a home, they've lost their dreams, they've lost their nationality. We receive them, restore their health, where no one else can go. Where you have more than 5,000 patients per month, you will find you have piled a bunch of data sheets, which becomes hard to compile. By the time you discover it is an outbreak, it is one month past. But with digital data capture, it's a matter of a click. This new technology captures patients' information, stores data in the cloud, and you can access information anywhere. Digital data capture, it is for now. You collect data now. You compare reports now. You easily make decisions now. Two months ago, we had a lot of malaria cases. Then the system showed us that we were going to have an outbreak. We went to the community, told them how to prevent malaria. Because we are able to detect this increase happening in real time, we are able to avert that before it reaches to the outbreak level. This technology is saving lives. When you restore people's health, you restore their dreams, their hopes, all that they think they have lost. Working in a refugee setting, I'm serving my own people. Whenever I'm with them, it's like I'm home. 